day and night they used to bring transport. And we used to we has to, used to work one day, one week we worked during the day, we had two shifts. In one week we worked in the night. And every day and night they used to bring people over. And what work did you do? What I used to cut we used to cut them cut the hair from all the people over. And uh, the people used to come, they used to bring people from all over Europe. From Holland, from Belgium, from from France, from uh, from all over, from Greece, from uh, Hungary, from from Czechoslovakia, from all over, they used to bring the people in, you know. And as everybody asked the same question, the same thing when we came. And everybody find out where the family. Everybody wants to know where the family is. I'm Gary Hendershot. I'm here with my friend Richard Friedemann. Uh, this is his concentration camp uniform issued to him. Well, actually, it's not issued to him. It's the, it's the one that he uh, that he took when he was in Auschwitz. He was selected for death, and uh, he escaped by the help of some Soviet prisoners of war. And then he took this uniform, this concentration camp outfit, um, off of a dead person that was already in the cart, the nightly cart full of dead people. Um, and it, it had a different number on it, um, did not correlate with his tattoo, with his B4112, but he was able to somehow, you know, use this uniform and begin again and eventually get transferred to Dachau and eventually get transferred from Dachau concentration camp up to another concentration camp, yet another concentration camp, and eventually ended up at the Messerschmitt Aircraft Factory. Um, but this is his last clothing from the concentration camps. Um, and I think it's very interesting the way it's made. You know, this was his secret pocket that he sewed in. This was uh, this hole here. This is where he had his spoon. Because they, uh, for some reason, the Nazis and the SS uh, prison guards would not give uh, spoons to the uh, the prisoners. It's crudely made. I believe the fabric is you said was made from a wood pulp. Wood pulp. Uh, it's got several repairs. Here you can see he has a huge tear here. I don't know what you were doing to get that big of a tear in your clothing, but I'm sure you. I were. don't know how I could get hold of needle and and stitch. I know. You know, but you it did. was extremely hard to get anything. Original concentration camp clothing is extremely rare. The Nazis used Auschwitz as a secret human slaughterhouse. But in 1944, two prisoners escaped to tell the world. The Jewish community didn't believe them at first because it was so unbelievable. Their report saved tens of thousands, but did one freedom fighter's miscalculation condemn thousands more to the gas chambers? Escape from Auschwitz on Secrets of the Dead.